वेलकम दिस इज गौरिका शर्मा रोड सेफ्टी इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट सब्जेक्ट फॉर इंडिया एंड द वर्ल्ड एज अ रिस्पॉन्सिबल सिटीजन इट इज आर ड्यूटी टू इंश्योर सेफ्टी नॉट जस्ट फॉर आर सेल्व बट ऑल्सो फॉर एवरी अदर पर्सन वी शेयर द रोड विद स्ट्रिक्ट रेगुलेशन बाय द गवर्नमेंट एंड यूज ऑफ लेटेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी बाय कार मैनुफैक्चर हेल्प्स बट अ लिटल एम्पथी एंड बिहेवियल चेंज कैन गो अ लॉन्ग वे मेकिंग आर रोड सेफर दैन एवर विद अ सिमिलर विजन यूंडाई बी द बेटर गाई कैंपेन कैन बी सीन एज अ गेम चेंजर दिस सेफ्टी अवेयरनेस कैंपेन फोकसिस ऑन सम की एरियाज टू इम्प्रूव सेफ्टी ऑन द रोड्स We had a brief discussion with Puneet Anand on how Be the Better Guy campaign is spreading message of road safety from last 7 years. So let's have a look. So my very first question would be what is Be the Better Guy campaign and what was the whole idea behind it? So actually uh, globally speaking Hyundai works very strongly on the ideas of road safety. So under our global vision which is progress for humanity we have a theme of called continue and with this theme we want to always ensure that our organization continues to work for the safety of the society so it was way back in 2016 when we conceptualized the idea of be the better guy as you all know that india is largely a very young country and we have a lot of millennials who are driving the cars so ultimately the responsibility of being a very very responsible driver on the road lies on our shoulder so we realized that why don't we join up with the ministry of road transport which is government of india are taking and develop a theme which can change the behavior with which the people drive on indian roads just to give you some statistics in 2021 india witnessed close to around 412000 road accidents and unfortunately out of these road accidents 37% of them transformed into fatal accidents means there were around 153000 precious lives lost in these road accidents the challenge is that 18 to 45 is the key age and 67% of these fatalities actually lied in that 18 to 45 which is a very productive age so we feel that what is the reason why such kind of fatalities are happening and through our research and through our conceptualization with the ministry of road transport we realize that basic things like driving under the influence of alcohol over speeding the car driving without seat belt and nowadays driving with mobile phone on are some of the key reasons why our youth is meeting with this road accidents and that's where our theme be the better guy wants to change that behavior of the people so that they become more and more responsible citizen on the roads so what are the changes you have seen on the ground over these years actually speaking uh, i would like to personally thank Uh, our honorable minister mr gadkari ji who has really conceptualized and spearheaded the aim of safer driving in fact we say that road driving should be safe for everyone why only drivers it should be even safer for the co-passengers as well as for the pedestrians and i think if we see the new era of modern road engineering has started coming up we have seen many smart highways which have actually started being conceptualized and actually being put into practice the recent example being the delhi mumbai expressway which is actually a very smart highway now with all these things coming up even on the roads we have seen that people have also started becoming more and more responsible and if we recall way back in 2016 17 when we conceptualized we used children as one of the reasons that why a parent should change his or her behavior or driving the car because today when i will be talking to my wife or maybe wife will be talking to the husband we may not understand the importance of safe driving but if a child tells us that papa please don't drive the car at a high speed or please put your seat belts on that sends a very social and a very strong message to the people and that was the first theme with which we conceptualized this aim and we are very happy that over the period be the better guy has really got on to the fancy of the people people have realized that yes i when i am sitting in the car not only should be a responsible driver but my job also is to keep take care of the co passengers as well as on the pedestrians and that's how we feel that for a long time this campaign has been one of the paradigm shift as far as our initiative towards road safety are concerned so our government and other stakeholders took this campaign in fact we also must thank the various regulatory bodies for example we have been working with various traffic police whether it is in gurugram whether it is in tamil nadu whether it is in maharashtra and we have been working along with them so that not only in terms of fines and chalans people should actually change from the heart and that is what i call it change within from inside 
if that happens i think all these chalans and all these fines will actually become a thing of the past uh, in fact when we look at these statistics 67% of the people as i said are a very productive age now india is a very large country we are in fact recently become the most populous country in the world mm -hmm. that means that our youth is contributing to the gdp or the development of this nation and if we are able if we are able to safeguard the lives of these youth as i said 153000 lives lost in 2021 is a very big number if we are able to do that i think our idea and our responsibility of being a safer manufacturer of the passenger vehicles in india will be conceptualized and it will be solved and that's where we are working with various state governments we are working with various regulatory bodies and all of them have been very very uh, supportive of that we recently launched a new mission called mission gurugram mission faridabad and recently mission chennai where we are not only educating the drivers but we are also checking their health potential so that some of the people who are you know suffering from blood pressure or maybe weak eyesight they should also realize that once they are in a car they should be mentally as well as physically fit i think these are some of the ideas which we are working together and will continue to do for a long time ahead what is your take on how this campaign will pan out in the coming years actually this year if you see the theme of our campaign is buckle up young india and why we are saying buckle up young india because over the period of time with the adoption of new age technologies we have seen many millennials and many gen z customers entering as a active drivers now they always say that it is always safe to nip the bud nip the evil in the bud and that's where we feel that if we are able to inculcate this safe driving habits into the youth of today they will be communicating this safe driving habits to their families to their friends to their parents and also to the society as a large because these young people are also very strongly the future influencers of this country and that's why various habits like you know driving at a regular speed uh, driving without the influence of alcohol or driving with the seat belts on if you are able to communicate all these messages the behavior of the people on the roads will change and our country will definitely become a safe city safe country and that's why these millennials i will call them as, as a chain of change because they are the people who can develop this entire ecosystem and they are the ones who can make this change possible in our country so how the young indians play an important role in this endeavor and what are the steps uh, you are taking to make them involved in it actually very good question if you see the top 6 reasons which are re leading to these road accidents and fatalities are basically all behavioral changes all cars are very safe everyone will have a airbag or they will have abs so what happens why do the car meet with an accident is because a either you are driving under the influence of alcohol which is a bad behavior you are over speeding bad behavior you are not stepping at the red light bad behavior you are not lo looking at the zebra crossing it's a bad behavior or people are driving the car with mobile phone on talking on the mobile phone again is a bad behavior or you are taking a wrong turn you are driving on the wrong side of the road is also a bad behavior so actually if we are able to take care of these bad behaviors and ensure that our inner voice tells us please don't drive irresponsibly the entire problem of this road menace road fatalities will be solved and our theme is to get it to these young people because today they are the social drivers of this country any message from the youth who are also the gen z and the millennials and they are the influencers of tomorrow if they are able to propagate this message i think our job as a responsible manufacturer of automobile vehicle will be done we have brilliant products the tucson with adas level 2 the ionic with adas level 2 now we have launched the verna with adas level 2 six year bags all these technologies we can give बट एज ए ऑलवेज से हम आपकी गाड़ी में आपके लिए सब कुछ रखते हैं बिकॉज वी केयर फॉर यू बट डू यू केयर फॉर योर सेल्फ दैट इज द क्वेश्चन विच आई नीड टू आस वेन आई एम सिटिंग इन द कार इफ आई आस दिस क्वेश्चन दैट डू आई केयर फॉर माई सेल्फ डू आई केयर फॉर माई फैमिली डू आई केयर फॉर माई चिल्ड्रन देन आई थिंक दिस इ रिस्पॉन्सिबल बिहेव विल बी लॉस्ट एंड वी ऑल विल बिकम अ रिस्पॉन्सिबल केयरिंग सिटीजन ऑफ दिस कंट्री Hyundai's Be the Better Guy campaign focuses on some key areas to improve safety on the roads. This includes wearing seat belts, following traffic rules, maintaining speed limits, not driving while intoxicated, avoiding use of phones, etc. Our new guest will enlighten us on what else can be done to make the roads safer. The driver on the road is safe not when he reads the signs, but when he obeys them. 
today we have Preeti Yadav, DCP Traffic, Gautam Budnagar. And today's discussion will be all about safer driving practices on the roads that we all must follow. Hello and welcome to the show. So my very first question from you would be, what all initiatives the central as well as the respective state government has taken in order to promote the safer driving practices on the roads? So the national and the state government have taken various steps to uh, enforce the traffic rules and enhance the safety on the roads. And like our national ministries have taken steps like uh, launching of IRAD app, that is our uh, road accident database. They check all, they check and trace all the road accidents. Along with that, special steps have, take, have been taken by the ministry to work on the education front to aware the people and about the identification of black spots and improving the engineering practices of the roads and the vehicles. Along with that, we are working on the emergency care. If we talk about the state government, uh, we celebrate a proper traffic month each year in the month of November where we educate people and run awareness drives in various schools and colleges and among various corporates as well. Along with that, integrated command control centers have been established in all the districts. Have you seen a change in people's perspectives towards being safer on the roads? If yes, then how? So if we see the data of the number of deaths on road due to the accidents, it has increased. But I think with changing time and the awareness drive which has been run by the government, I think somewhere the perspective has changed and people are taking care when they are on road. Well, how is your department making sure that people out there on the roads are safe and what all campaigns are ongoing? So in Gautam Budhnagar district, we are running uh, educational and awareness campaign. Along with that, there is a specific uh, program that is being run by us, that is Discipline on Road, in which we uh, make sure that the people who do not follow the traffic rules are penalized properly according to the Motor Vehicle Amendment Act. And uh, like the people who are not wearing helmet or seat belt or the cases of over speeding mm -hmm. or who are doing stunts on the road, so basically, youth are very much into you know reel making and stunts. Every day we yes. see such videos. So, so we penalize them and take proper action against them. What will be your appeal to the viewers on being safe on the roads? So basically, life doesn't give us a second chance. So it becomes important for us to follow the traffic rules, especially the people who are on two wheelers. They must take care whenever they are coming out of their homes. They should wear a helmet not just because they will be penalized, but because it is for their safety. A special message for the youth that whenever you are on road, you should take care of the speed limits as well. It may be for fun or as we say that speed uh, thrills, but kills. So thank you so much. It was indeed an insightful discussion. Thank you so much for your time. It is essential to follow traffic rules to ensure safer travel for all. With this insightful discussion, it's now time for our auto expert to share his thoughts on the overall campaign and the buzz it is creating. Welcome back, we are joined by Arjit Garg, auto expert. He will update us on the current situation of the roads in India and also on how Hyundai's Be the Better Guy campaign is making an impact about safety awareness among the youth of our country. So Arjit, what are your views on Hyundai's Be the Better Guy campaign? Well, uh, first of all, thank you for inviting me to such an esteemed panel to talk about the road safety. Now, you talked about the campaign uh, about Hyundai's Be the Better Guy. Uh, you know, I've been covering the auto industry for more than a decade now, and off late, I've seen a lot of automakers are talking about road safety. Right. But then, when they talk about road safety, it's mostly to sell their own cars, right? Mm -hmm. Now, this is where Hyundai comes in. Uh, there are two parts of uh, road safety. One is pre-accident, one is post-accident, right? So a lot of automakers are emphasizing on the post-accident thing. Like if the accident happens, the car is good, it's safe, and uh, the person will be, uh, you know, uh, safe in that sense. But what about the situation where we don't engage in an accident? Who will create that awareness? So this is where the Be the Better Guy campaign has, you know, created an uh, impact on the uh, general masses who are using the vehicles, be it four-wheelers, be it two-wheelers or the commercial vehicles, because we have to teach them that 
Yes, uh, the vehicles nowadays are becoming safer. Yes, the roads are safer, the laws are there. But then you don't have to engage in such activities that uh, you know uh, impact the road safety uh, thing. And uh, Hyundai is doing a great work in that sense. So how important is it for a country like us to make drivers and pedestrians more aware about road safety and safe driving practices? Uh, so I'll just start by giving you some facts. Okay, India is uh, the third largest car maker in the world. Uh, two-wheelers, the largest two-wheeler market, commercial vehicles right at the top. Uh, almost 3.5 million cars were sold uh, uh, in one year last year. You know, But these are some positive numbers. The bad number is India is also the leading uh, country in terms of the road accident and almost 1.5 lakh people died in road accident. So that answers your question on why do we need you know, uh, road safety in a country True. like India. Uh, it's not just about the person or the family members or the friends who are sitting inside the car. It's also about their surroundings. When you are taking a vehicle out on the road, it's not just you. Right? If a road accident happens, if it is your mistake or not your mistake, then a lot of pedestrians, your fellow motorists are impacted uh, by the same. And uh, this is why we have to talk about road safety. And India, of course, paramount to talk about uh, road safety. A lot of factors uh, you know, impact road safety. And uh, it's it, it's not just the vehicle itself, right? They always say that it's not the camera, but uh, camera it's the camera person behind the uh, camera. It's not the say uh, when a, a you know sports person breaks some record. It's not that device. It's the person who is behind it. It's similar in the case of vehicles also. It's not the vehicle. It's the person who is driving the vehicle. So Arjit, can you see a change in the last few years as there has been an increase in the number of campaigns about road safety in India? Definitely. Uh, like I said, I've been covering auto industry for past uh, 10 years or so. Uh, what I've seen is people are more aware, generally more aware, especially in the metro cities. Like we are uh, sitting in Delhi right now. Delhi NCR has some of the you know best roads and uh, people here follow traffic rules, right? They wear seat belts, they stop at red lights, they generally wear uh, you know helmets, right? Uh, as in the rider as well as the pillion, uh, both wear the helmet. So in general, People across India uh, who are living in metro cities, they are more aware about the metro cities. However, the situation is quite different when it comes to the rural cities and uh, rural, uh, you know, part of the India. And uh, as they say, most of the India lives in the uh, uh, rural network. So we have to, you know, encourage these guys who are living there to follow. Uh, more road safety thing. Campaigns are there. They are doing uh, wonderfully well. They are helping uh, uh, reduce road uh, accidents and everything. But uh, there are still some corners of India where these uh, campaigns like Hyundai's Be the Better Guy campaign can reach. And uh, with the uh, impact that Hyundai had, uh, you know, in the past 25 years or so, ever since they were, uh, 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 they, they made India part of their own family because they came in, uh, if I'm not wrong, 1998. Uh, with their Hyundai Centro car. And Centro was one car which reached every nook and corner of the country. Yes. So if a car is there which is reaching every nook and corner of the country, the maker of the car, if he talks about or they talk about the road safety, then it impacts every person who is buying the vehicle. So yes, coming from Hyundai, I am hoping that these campaigns will further you know, uh, enhance the road safety in India. So what will be your suggestions to the automobile companies and government for their role in making roads more safer for everyone? Uh, in my honest opinion, I believe companies and uh, government are doing some really good work. You know, uh, like in our previous uh, uh, conversation, I have mentioned that automakers are already offering products which are safe, right? They have all the features that you can get in a car, uh, in a market which was always, uh, you know, uh, 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 talked about as a uh, price conscious market. Here, people only talk about uh, pricing of the car or the average mileage, kitna deti hai, right? But that thing has changed. The youth of the country right now wants more feature, better design, and more than that, better safety feature. People are looking for safety feature. For uh, In that sense, uh, companies like Hyundai are doing good work. All their cars are equipped with the safety features which are necessary. Then comes the government. Again, government mandated the law of six airbags. Government mandated the rule of uh, seat belts. Government mandated uh, ABS and uh, EBD in the vehicles. Uh, they are making safer roads uh, under the current regime of uh, PM Modi and uh, Nitin Gadkari. They are making some very good, uh, uh, you know, road network which are, uh, you know, properly lit, properly marked, and everything. Expressways, expressway, uh, highways, and everything. Uh, the Delhi Mumbai Expressway, which they recently, 
you know, inaugurated is a world class uh, infrastructure. So India has world class infrastructure. India has world class uh, vehicles. So where are we lacking? Basically, it's the personal uh, 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 zealness of the you know riders on the bike or the drivers in the car or that of a commercial vehicle to maintain the safety discipline. Uh, you have to follow the uh, road safety norms. You have to stop at the red light. You have to wear a seat belt. You have to wear a helmet. There is no two way about that. Uh, yes, you have options for vehicles, but you don't get options when there is an accident. And it's your life, it's your, the life of your family members, it's the life of your uh, friends and near and dear ones, it's the life of the road, uh, people who are traveling on the uh, uh, road, right? So uh, we are very conscious as far as our buying decision, uh, decisions are concerned. We, you know, wait for months and months to buy our next big car. You know, a price position, we do immense research while buying a vehicle. But sadly, when it comes to, uh, you know, having that road sense, we don't go to a driving school. Yeah, we don't follow the uh, traffic norms or the uh, safety norms laid out by the government. If we start doing our bit, even the IOTA of it, then the government and OEMs are doing their bit. Right, and a combination of all three, the buyer, the OEM, or the manufacturer like Hyundai, and the government, they come together uh, in a synergy, then India can be the best country to drive the vehicle. Thank you, Arjit, for taking out your time for us. With that, we come to an end of our special show. We urge people to drive responsibly and make roads safer. Thank you for watching. <laughs>